Okay. Need my glasses, and I don't need my glasses. Same old story. But anyway, you can, as you can tell, you can guess uh, what I'm going to be, uh, what I'm going to be doing. This is the old one, and it started the spark. And, um, but I want to, it's best to show you. Um, it's pretty rusty, guys, and. Uh, I can clean it up, I guess, and reuse it, but for the price, what, what's the point? Now, these are, needs to be clean, right? A little bit. Uh, clean this up. Now, guys, I'm no electrician, and, uh, you know, so... You electricians out there, the guys that are retired, but you know, that was your livelihood was being an electrician. This video may not be for you. You may you may cringe. But, uh, but anywho. So you, now this one here is a three um, got a ground on it, so it's uh, hot. Believe it or not, that's a weight. But uh, it's got a hot and a neutral, and which, you know, all depends on who you listen to. They're both hot, right? But uh, then you got a ground. So that should be pretty good. Now, the tools that you'll need is uh, very simple. Like, I, I don't have the, if you were, I'm just taking this off and putting a new one on. But this can be, you know, the same thing goes for the male end. I'm putting on a female, I suppose, you know, what do you guys call this, a female, because, uh, I don't know, I was going to say, <laughs> I, was go I was going to say I'll call it Leah Thomas, but uh, we'll leave the jokes for another day, I guess, but uh, anyway, I'm putting on a female, in, okay, and you're, you know, they yeah, come in different. You can get the heavy duty ones. This is a plastic one. Whatever tickles your fancy. But uh, you may be cutting off burnt wires or whatever. You might be doing that. And then you'll cut off, uh, you know, about an inch. Well, you'll splice down here, take out about an inch. I just usually go, I know from the tip of my finger here to the first joint is an inch just just a tad over an inch so I just go like that you know. and then you you'll have to take off the sheathing on each individual wire and for this one uh, I'm going to guess it'll be pretty close as to the one I took off I don't even know what this one is like yet but I'm guessing that will be enough wire exposed okay so you will do that. So you will have, you might need the little stripper. You can do it with the exacto knife. You'll need whatever screwdriver. They usually comes with a square and a slot, a combination. So you, you'll need a screwdriver that fits. And you may, if you want to cut them off, you'll be using the uh, cutters. So we'll just assume that you, you got that done, that's simple. It is a simple video after all. Now here, this one comes apart like that. So, the green goes on the green. That's pretty self-explanatory. The white will go on the white and the black on the color screen. Now, you may, you may, for instance, Let's just say that uh, you you had one like this, and really, you know, there's no marking, no coloring. Usually they all do, but let's just say it's wore off or something, and you don't know. The rule of thumb is, what well, the best thing to do, I'll say first, is get your multimeter if you have one, and you put a, a lead on the, the black, and you go, and... You would put your multimeter on and see 
what one of the, what one is what. You can do it that way, and then you just hook the black, and then you, you know, do the other one and make sure that it's all lined up. But the real thumb, that yeah, works every time anyway, is the uh, the black goes on the small. The white will go on the big, the return, and the green on the green. Right? So right now we're just gonna put the black. Um, I don't see nothing anyway with the glasses. Put the black on the black. Just like that. strip so you don't need to but you gotta make sure it's on tight that one's on tight and if you're going to be pulling on your your extension cord to take it to disconnect it then you should you deserve on what you get <laughs> because it's not meant to uh you know to be uh, yanked on right and then you put your weight on the silver screw just like I know a lot of you guys have silver hair. Some don't have no hair at all. Put it on the silver. Bring it down. And you do the same thing with the green. Guys, I want to say that I, I really appreciate the, uh, the comments and the new subscribers and the, the all subscribers, but you know what I mean. If you, you guys are, if you're new now and you haven't subscribed, hit the button. Hit the button. So you just tighten that down. I think I put this one. I may have made a mistake already. Put this in there now. Slide that down. And start it all over again. So. Make sure you buy a one that's uh, able to take the hamperage of whatever wire you're uh, using as well. When it comes to safety, this is for entertainment. <laughs> as they all say on YouTube, this is for entertainment purposes only. So, when it comes to safety, that, that's your, your shank. I'm going to do it. It's only plastic. That seems like it's all cockade. Just like the person doing it. Okay. Let's just make sure that we have enough in there. We don't want no, you know, nothing to uh, put strain on the where it's connected. You know, the wires is connected. Okay. So.
I'm really bad for stripping stuff. I always think so I got to give her a, an extra little home. So give it a good, good yank. That gives it a good pull here. So that's okay. So now you can take the uh, the um, multimeter, stick it in the small one. I think it's touching there. on this one nothing in the ground nothing this here so we know that's that's the right one so that's the that would be the black turning into a lot of a heat loss Clear off to one side anyway. There. There you go. That's good. You see what happened there was this was corroded a bit. It wasn't getting a, a good contact. Anyway, folks, thank you again and uh, hope to see you on the next one.